little dookie booty gone and get in the camera. Yeah, bitch, this is for Keisha because you clearly ain't learned your lesson the first time. Tell her what the fuck I said. I can't fuck with you. Louder. I can't fuck with you no more. Because what? You mentioned up my family. Now, bitch. Yo, what up, fellas? What it do? This is the Redfield Live. for back at y'all again. What the hell y'all already know? Wrist, elbows, knees, feet, shin, and everything to the back of her neck. Holding it down, locking it down, submerging it down to the game. Please like, share, subscribe for the notification bell. So you love these videos, piping high status. You're going to get it down your phone into your already ear candy game. You're going to get it. You already know it. Now, right. How to get at me? Everything is in the description below the videos. Or you can go to my bow section. I'm almost at a thousand. I congratulate. Pat myself on the shoulder in the back. We're going to need more. More and more and more. My videos of educational purposes only fair uses on. Now, let's get to it. If her self-esteem is low, this is what you'll deal with. I know you peeped in the video and everything. I to cut it down a little bit short. Old boy was in the restroom, you know, defecating, taking the number two. Well, for those who want me to get straight to it, he was in there taking the shit. And this chick busts right through the door, you know, broadcasting their business all on the camera because she feels like he's cheating or he may be cheating. I don't know. But this is something that you don't want to deal with, fellas. Yeah, you may cause this on yourself because the way you're acting. Yeah, you're supposed to be leading the relationship. So when you're acting out and doing crazy shit, being reckless with how you move, then, yeah, it's a chance you go open the doors for this type of behavior. You know, but it all falls back on you because you got to stop lying and keep this shit fucking real. Shit, they women, man. You know, you really ain't got to lie. Yeah, I've lied to women. I did a lot of things just to mislead them and shit in the past. I've done that. I ain't going to lie and say I didn't. But as you grow older, you learn that, um, the things that you got, the things that you can foresee yourself getting, the places you can foresee yourself going, the growth that you are uh, capable, you know, you're actually capable of uh, succeeding. You don't want to deal with that shit and you don't want to bring that along with you. So it's always best to keep it real up front. Let's get to it. Situations like this will only boost the ego of a low life ass man. You know, you got a lot of dudes out there, they feel like, shit, you know, my woman all on me, she, you know, she got me up uh, saying, you know, I'll never cheat again on camera, you know, this, you know, I got her in the box, she ain't going nowhere, you know, I got her jocking, I got her chasing me, I got her this, I got her that, come on, man, you don't have confidence in yourself, you don't even think highly of yourself, otherwise that wouldn't even intrigue you that wouldn't even turn you on but a lot of guys that type of behavior turn them on because that's a sense of love when it comes to actually receiving love they think that's love when it's not love it's drama it's toxic it's something that's going to keep you set back keep you in part in part it's ghetto it's a fucked up mindset you don't want to be a part of it let's keep pushing i know so many dudes who love jealous women I guess it gives them a sense of being loved when it's actually drama, like I said. Then on the flip side of that, you know, on the flip side of that type of relationship, it's the man that's also jealous himself. Let's go ahead and keep it real. Let's take the gloves off of it and hit the like button because you know I'm telling the truth. This type of behavior ain't going on with just her. When she slip and do shit, he's doing the same shit to her. It's a tit for tat thing. That's what they got going on toxic ass fucking relationship and it's bad it's not right you know it's it's senseless who want to be a part of that shit you know i can guarantee you they're both jealous of each other and their relationship is toxic as fuck fellas whenever your woman feels that she can disrespect you like this trust me she thinks that she's equal to you and I know a lot of guys like, well, you know, ain't they equal? You know, they got the jobs, you know, they, they got their freedom, the, the liberation, and 
you know, they can do whatever they want to do, you know. No, she's still not equal to you. Because she's a woman. You are a man. You supposed to be you supposed to be leading. You're supposed to be guiding. You know? You're supposed to be setting examples to make sure that there's a path for you both to follow towards success. And you leading that fucking path. And she knows that. But when you got her thinking that y'all equal, this is the type of fucking shit you deal with. You get it? Yeah. You don't know that. She do. By you not leading the relationship, allowing her to do or say anything, and arguing with her only shows her that you are feminine just like her. So why should she respect you? Come on now. Now, if you're out, you know, cheating on your chick recklessly, then you open the doors for total disrespect because you could, you know, you could have kept it real from the jump and allow her to make a choice. A lot of you guys don't do that. Y'all don't give your woman a choice. You know, you're going to lie just to keep her in place so she can stay there. You keep some pussy right there on the side. You know, you don't, you ain't scared. So you in fear of losing the ass. So you, oh, I ain't doing this. I ain't doing that. And knowing that well, you sticking your dick in any chick that allow you to do it. You know, bottom feeding like a motherfucker. You know you're doing it. Come on, man. When you ain't got to do that. You don't know what. Anybody or is willing to accept if you just fucking be honest and keep it real. You wouldn't be going through this. You know, she fuck around being in the bed with, with you and a couple other chicks. Who knows? That's the perks of being honest. Now, let's go. Now. We all know most men lie just to keep their main chick in place while they're out smashing everything moving. Then turn around and get mad. When she go out and receive some pipe, you know, like they out here slinging pipe, right? It's all a part of the game. You can't get upset at that. You know, what kind of shit is that? Fellas, as you grow in life, you'll have zero tolerance for this kind of drama. I mean, who would want their woman busting through the restroom door just to expose them for something that could have been discussed, you know, without camera or social media. I mean, come on now. Whenever you take all your business in social media or you're messing with the chick that spends, you know, her life in social media, you already lost a relationship. Real shit. Because things cannot like actually be worked out without thousands, if not millions of motherfuckers' opinions. Hundreds or whatever. Oh, I mean motherfuckers you got watching. And then Ten times out of ten, typically you're going to go off what's being said on social media because you involved your life in that. You allow that to control your life and the way things move around you. That's why she ran to the camera exposed it because this is what they do to each other. Toxic as fuck. Feminine as fuck on his end. He allowed her to be masculine. Now y'all see what I'm talking about? Or otherwise, things would have been discussed without the camera, without social media. This video would have never been sent to me. You know, they keep it real. People put their own business out there and they get mad when other motherfuckers, you know, join in and cast their opinions on me. You did it to your fucking self. You know, you allow her to do it because that's what they do. And a lot of you guys are in relationships like this and y'all going through the same fucking bullshit ass relationship. Thinking that you got a chick that's digging you and she's stuck on you and She's glued to you and shit like you got a fucking psychopath, you know, and you doing the same shit she's doing. You returning the same favor. Let's keep it real, you know. Now, let's go with it. And that's just what it is. And remember this, fellas. You are a man. Don't allow no bitch to play with your character like this dude. Don't allow it at all, fellas. If she isn't cool with you seeing multiple chicks, then move on to a female who will be cool with that. It's just that simple. They are out here. Real shit. She's got to keep on grinding. Y'all just get too lazy, get too complacent. Y'all get too comfortable. And, you know, now you attached and you settle for what you settle for. And you wonder why you're going through what you're going through and you can't grow. Put that on yourself. 
Never degrade yourself for a chick like this. I mean, look at her. And plus, look, I mean, look at her, man. I mean, come, come on, dude. And I'm not here to insult or ridicule or talk bad on the one's image and how they are, man. But get the fuck out of here, man, you know? I mean, only a bottle feeder will fuck with something like this. That nigga on the toilet is a damn bottle feeder. Look who he's fucking with. Come on, man. <laughs> That shit's toxic, ghetto, impoverished, and fucked all the way up. How many of y'all think they ever grow out of that situation? I don't. Because I've seen too much of it. Like these videos, share them, and subscribe. It's the message. And do not go out like this. A thousand or better is the goal. Holler.